We have a question from Costa. I have a female client who's very small and not very athletic. She is able to do the presses and get up variations, squat variations and deadlifts. No swings, cleans or snatches. Your Bulgarian goat bag swings have been a great addition. Well, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Um, the goblet squat, the Bulgarian goat bag, suitcase carries. I'd like to take credit for all those, but really they were for the same issues you have. Um, if, if I get every single client just to do power clean and press, squat snatch, squat clean and jerk, we wouldn't do anything else. But there's not very many people who can do that. So I, so you have to have these other options. I have her deadlift with two hands and catch the weight like she's about to perform a goblet squat to get to the rack position. Yeah, uh, Mike Krifka, a good friend of mine and a very, very good kettlebell instructor, um, he has this exercise, he calls it the two-hand clean, swing, and then you slide it up into the goblet squat position. Uh, I would not want you to, well, if, she can, if, if it's a dead stop, it's a dead stop. I can't argue with you on that. But I would try to get her to move into the swing, goblet squat, swing, goblet squat, swing, goblet squat. It's a great little drill. I didn't think much of it until I did it and I realized that that was a gap in my personal teaching. And I don't like gaps. Um, this works for up to 12 kilos, which is her swing and sort of max squat weight. For those of us with clients who may be older or have some compromised physicality, do you have any suggestions for some alternatives to some of the ballistic movements? Uh, you didn't give me her age, but um, that Krifka two-handed clean is kind of a nice uh, gateway to ballistics because it's it doesn't have to be a very big swing at all. It's almost a... Uh, so, I mean, depending on how you pick it up, I'd like you to do it a certain way. Obviously, I think everything's a swing with kettlebells, but if you just had her pop it back a little bit, that's all the momentum she would need, and then go vertical and do the slide. But if if she's struggling with the grinds, uh, you know, and at 12 kilos, she's not, she's doing fine, but there's going to be a lot of progression from here. Um, keep with the grinds until the ballistics maybe unpack themselves. You know, the, uh, one, one day it'll be like, oh, and you'll see it sometimes. Uh, somebody who's struggling like after a surgery or an accident, auto accident, they're grinding, they're grinding, they're grinding one day, and it just seems like one day the shackles come off and they're fine. Uh, I don't know how well I answered your question, Costa, but let's do this. Keep grinding away with those basics that you're doing. Maybe introduce the uh, Krifka clean, the Krifka clean, and, uh, um, and then just give it a few, a little bit more time and just keep talking and keep showing where the progress is. And I won't be surprised if one day, boom, we're there. Progress when it comes to ballistics is not linear. There tends to be a, a slow kind of, you know, long haul. And then usually people suddenly say, oh, I got it. Like teaching the, uh, when, you, uh, when I teach people the Olympic clean, um, it is terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, that's what you mean. Boom, got it. So hope that helps. Thank you.